after seeing the electrophilic substitution reaction undergone by phenols that is nitration and that of halogenation let us see the second reaction over here and that is named as Kolb's reaction. Now what is this Kolb's reaction? In this we have phenol which is made to react with a base. On reaction with a base it goes to give us sodium phenoxide. Sodium phenoxide further is made to react with dry ice that is carbon dioxide followed by a treatment with the acid what we obtain is 2 hydroxy 2 hydroxy benzoic acid which is nothing but salicylic acid so you obtain salicylic acid here we understand that phenol on treatment with a base and further with dry ice and that of an acid we obtain salicylic acid as our product. Let us go for a second name reaction here. The first one is Cope's. So the second one is rimmer timmon reaction. In rimmer timmon reaction we have phenol which is made to react with chloroform in presence of aqueous sodium hydroxide goes to give you an intermediate over here. This further is made to react with sodium hydroxide to give you this particular product. Look at it in place of H. Now you have Na over here as you can see and your CHCl2 has been oxidized to C double bond OH. Is further treated with acid in order to give you salicylaldehyde. So this is the product which is obtained over here. This is salicylic acid. This is salicylaldehyde. Now know that in these two cases, this is how you remember Kolb's reaction for preparation of salicylic acid and Rimmer-Timmon reaction for salicylaldehyde. Let us go for the next set of reaction. This is a reaction of a phenol with zinc dust wherein your hydrogen over here is going to come and oxygen will be abstracted by zinc in order to give you zinc oxide. So phenol reacts with zinc dust to give us benzene and zinc oxide. The last reaction in the list is oxidation reaction. Here phenol goes to react with a strong oxidizing agent like sodium dichromate in presence of sulfuric acid to give us benzoquinone. Look at the interesting structure. This is benzoquinone which has been formed over here. So with that we complete with the study of the chemical properties of phenols.